I'm Hannah Baloli, and this is the HVAC Minute. Most HVAC manufacturers will start rolling out their new A2L units later this year, following close collaboration with dealers to install test equipment before it becomes widely available to the public. Despite the hype, HVAC contractors who've installed the first unit say it's business as usual. Austin Brandstetter, owner of Quality Heating and Air in Louisville, Kentucky, recently had the opportunity to install an A2L test system, an Evox G3 3-ton high-efficiency R454B residential heat pump system from Medea that replaced a split-system air conditioner and gas furnace. He reported, there really wasn't a huge learning curve, especially compared to when the R410A came out, and it was a big jump in pressure from R22. The pressures of R454B and R32 are very similar to R410A. As far as the actual installation was concerned, it was business as usual. Even my guys were surprised because they thought it was going to be very different, but it really was just the same, nothing special. In preparation for his first installation, Brandstetter received training on A2Ls from his local trade association, Indoor Comfort Association, and he took advantage of some of the training videos offered on YouTube by refrigerant manufacturers. With that knowledge, he was able to train his own technicians who he noted were not nervous at all about working with the new refrigerants. He said, We deal with natural gas and propane, which are much more volatile than A2Ls. All of my guys use best practices, so it really wasn't a nerve-wracking thing for us. Not at all. For those contractors who are nervous about their transition to A2Ls, the best they can do is educate themselves about the new refrigerants. Brandstetter advises other contractors, education is everything, so get educated on the facts. Don't be one of those contractors who just listens to the rumors. In today's society, the information is literally at your fingertips. The refrigerant companies and equipment manufacturers want to educate you. They have videos out there, or you can call your manufacturer's rep and ask how to get training.